The CNN Podcast is sponsored by the Dow Chemical Company, finding the bond between chemistry and humanity. Give that little pull. Welcome to CNN's News of the Absurd. I'm Jared Polini, and now that we're a few weeks into Senator McCain's surprise pick of Alaska Governor Sarah Palin as his running mate, I thought it might be kind of fun to take a look at some other surprises that might not be getting the same attention. And we start with a young man in Fresno who dreams of one day becoming a garbage man. And that's not the surprise. If we missed the garbage truck going around, we'd get on the bike and he'd go on the back and we would go around to the different circles so that we could find the garbage man. Nine-year-old Jameson, for as long as he can remember, has been infatuated with solid waste. So he decided to write a letter to the city telling authorities that he wanted to be a garbage man. A few months later, Jameson received quite a response. I'm Rob Overton, Driver of the Year. Surprise! Yay. And look at that. Solid waste uh, beanie. Finally, Jameson was getting to meet a symbol of his dream, a fellow lifelong trash enthusiast who's always shared that same vision of picking up other people's glad bags. Give that a little pull. I was going to play for the Cincinnati Reds. Hey, I'd be a professional baseball player. That's what I thought when I was nine. Or not. But, uh, you know, life has a way of, you know, <laughs> you know things change. That's a button for um, picking up the cans quicker. So I just flew in from Eugene, and uh, boy, are my arms tired. Huh? <laughs> huh? All right, if you thought Jameson's big day with the garbage man was a nice surprise, check out what happened to a pregnant woman in Oregon when she went to a comedy club. I wasn't going to go to the club that night because, you know, I thought for sure I was going to have a baby two weeks earlier. And um, I decided to go ahead and go and bring my pillow. Jackie Arzadon was a regular at the Big Kahuna Comedy Club, but no comic had ever made her laugh so hard that she released amniotic fluid. And we noticed when she was pregnant the first time she came, and of course, my joke with her the whole time was, we're gonna make you have that baby. Enter the stage, Don Barnhart, the evening's headlining stand-up comedian and star of Las Vegas Asian sex trade B-movie thriller, China Dolls. We had a really good night. It was probably the best comedy night we had had. And um, when I got up, I realized my water had broke. <laughs> Soon after Splashdown, little Bailey Joe entered the world. We're going to take Bailey Joe's picture and we're going to put her on this wall of fame. As you can see, we got Shaquille O'Neal and Barkley and Lily Tomlin. We're going to put that baby on this wall and that is going to be our baby kahuna. And finally, now that we've witnessed the human response to surprise, apparently sometimes resulting in childbirth, let us now turn to the animal world and check out what happens to certain goats when you manage to scare them half to death. Fainting goats specifically are actually a meat breed. You heard correctly, fainting goats. Goats that collapse upon being scared and are also good to eat. They slam their car door and you'll see them all drop. But you know, just that noise that they weren't expecting, they thought everything was sort of tranquil and all over and bam, it makes them faint. Daryl and Nelson raises these goats on her farm in Newcastle, Maine. When they get scared, they tighten up and fall over. But after about 10 seconds, the goats relax and they're back to normal. As they get older, they actually learn to spread their legs for balance and walk while dragging themselves along. But until then, it's this. And if you ask WCSH affiliate reporter Bill Green, it's a whole lot better than cow tipping. Well, that's all for this edition of News of the Absurd. I'm Jared Polini, and we leave you with two guys pretending to make out in front of CNN cameras. Enjoy. This is absolutely oh. stunning. Wall Street has seen very, very few days like this. The mortgage crisis has Price now 12. taken down two of the biggest names, the most storied names on Wall Street, one of them Lehman Brothers right behind me, 
the parent company of Lehman Brothers, Ready, filing for bankruptcy as the subsidiaries oh basically God. wind down oh, oh. or Lehman tries Rovio to sell a, them off. Dissolve, dissolve, In hey, addition, hey, hey. huge... Alan didn't notice us probably, but of course our television viewers did too, guys. Just obviously trying to make light of a bad situation, pretending to console each other out there. But uh, there were many different reactions. Christine Romans joins us now with more on this. A lot of people expected it, and there were others who were just simply devastated. I think that was some classic uh, Wall Street pranks this morning. <laughs> I'm Wolf Blitzer. Every weekday, I wrap up the stories rocking the political world in our new video podcast. Go to iTunes or CNNPolitics.com and be sure to subscribe to CNN Equals Politics Daily. Uh, your beard is rubbing all over that microphone when you look down. Yeah, like that. Totally here.